to use the AI remover, come to the Open Art Editor and click on Remover. Now we see two options, a quick erase and the magic erase. Quick erase only allows you to do one strike with your brush. It's good for removing very simple things and it's very fast. The magic erase is more complex. It learns the relationship between your painted area and the background. And when it's removed, it's going to look very seamless. Say I want to remove this weird extra tail with quick erase. I painted this tail and as soon as I release it, it's going to start generating. So you see that was really fast, but it wasn't the best result. Now let's try magic arrays. Again, I'm just going to brush this. I brushed it pretty casually, I didn't have to be super careful about the edges. And this is what we got. The jacket became a bit more baggy because it learned the environment and it helps me fill in some parts. Quick erase doesn't cost you any credit. It's usually recommended for simple things. This is an AI generated image and the candle lights are a bit weird. We can just use quick erase to one, two, and three. And now we fix this image without costing more credits. A slightly more complicated example, we want to remove this weird ball on top of the dog's fur. This would require magic erase. It filled in the fur parts really naturally. This last example is my absolute favorite. Here we have our D&D character. Instead of the manual brush, this time we're going to use the smart click area. Now we can select these different parts of this weapon and remove now. This is absolutely amazing. It filled in my dusty mountain background, the rocks, kept my hand, all looks great. Other than just removing the object, we can also use find and replace so now your character can hold a bunch of different things. Check out the find and replace video to learn more. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. I put all useful links under the video in the description. And don't forget to check out OpenArt. Have fun creating.